What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tommy Toon World. I'm out here in Las Vegas, and I'm going to go into the food court right now and try Dirt Dog and Rock and Potato. Let's go check it out. I'm ready to try out the Rock and Potato with the lobster. All right. I'm ready to try the DUI dog from Dirt Dog. I'm gonna go to Rock and Potato too, I guess. And as of right now, we are going to try the DUI dog. Let's see how it goes. It's a pretty big bite. Damn, the sauce is crazy. It's a little spicy. You really taste the pastrami. And you know, the hot dog is piping hot. The lady actually said she was just pulling them out and had to wait a little bit. Let's try it with the bread now. The second bite is just as good. Too fire. Finally out of the line, got my food at Rock and Potato. You know, it took about like 15, 20 minutes. The place is packed. That's what people come here for at this food court, is the Rock and Potato. Um, the line was really long. Uh, the owner had to pause the line because it was backed up. And uh, they gave away free fountain drinks. Um, and places and restaurants don't usually do that. They'll just make you wait and you know, accommodate you for waiting. And uh, I told them they're very generous for that. I'd rather have this problem than no customers, right? Right, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I'm gonna try the lobster mac and cheese part first. It's scorching hot, too. Like, oh my gosh. You can tell it was just made. So check this out. This is the mac and cheese part with the lobster in it as well. And then it came with a piece of lobster. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to eat all this. <laughs> all right, the lobster mac and cheese part, it's hitting. Definitely give you your bang for your buck because you know Vegas prices of food out here, you know, are hiked up a lot. but. It's definitely like a foodie item. You know what I mean, get your pictures of it, your videos, post it on your social medias. And see the second bite's fire too. Let me try a piece of potato with it though, with the skin. The skin seems, uh, it seems like it's crunchy. So let me see if I could get a piece of it off. And uh, then we'll, we'll check it out from there. 
because it is called rockin' potato, so I definitely want to try the potato part. When I see the skin's a little hardened over. When I seen him make it in the back, you know, they kind of smash the potato open and then kind of stir up the um, consistency of the potato inside. And I'm not sure if they steam the potato or if they steam the oven. I'm not sure. is hidden. It's pretty fire. Here's the free drinking gummy. Shout out the owner of Rocket Potato. Definitely came through big time. I would say this is probably one of the best twice baked potato I've had. <laughs> Not overcooked, not too dry. Definitely have the seasonings on there. That's it. That's life right there. I would say my overall experience with rotten potato is pretty good. Had to wait a little bit, but what do you expect when you're going to, you know, one of those uh, spots where everybody wants to roll to. <laughs> so, I will say this was a successful mission. I got the Fleetwood Mac Daddy Rockin' Potato. Next time, I'm going to try the Chuck Berry one. It has the uh, fried chicken and gravy and stuff on it. Kind of like a southern version of a twice-baked potato. The original one looks pretty good too. You know, it's just a regular uh, twice baked potato with what you would normally get on there. I think everything on the menu looks pretty good. Shout out the owner again. Thank you. Um, please like and subscribe. And uh, catch me on the next one. Peace.